glad you decided to stop back in today uh, i'm going to go over my cure settings for the easy thread x1 3d printer what i use it seems to work good for me your results might be a little different but it'll be a good starting point for you to try so uh we're going to get to it we're going to go over here to uh first thing is uh quality i got mine set at 0 0.2 uh, I've tried one, 0 0.12, uh, I didn't like it, so I went back to two, uh, the shells, uh, line count, I usually two to three, right now I got set at two, top layers four, uh, I'm trying that because my top layers ain't been doing too good at three or two, so I'm trying four right now, see what the results are. Bottom layers to it seems to do pretty good with that. I might bump it up to three. Uh, I'm still kind of tweaking, but they seem to work pretty good at what they're set at right now. And this popped up, so we're just gonna ignore it and continue. Uh, close that out. Infill. Uh, I got mine set at 15% lines. Uh, it does pretty good at that. Uh, material settings uh, 200 printing temperature, 200 initial layer, 1.75, flow 100%. Uh, retraction I've got enabled. Enabled. Uh, at layer change, retraction distance 6 millimeters, speed 25 millimeters a second. That seems to do pretty good. Not a lot of string and very little to none at all. Uh, we'll close that out. Go to speed. I find it likes to print. Print speed at 40 is the best. I've tried slower. But it seems to print better at 40. Same way with the end fill, top and bottom layers, and travel speed. And I've got the equalized flow, filament flow. It seems to help uh, a little with the uh, quality. Cooling, which I do not have enabled right now. I've got a part cooling fan on the way, which I'll uh, install later. Uh, support. You know, I ain't got none. Build plate adhesion. I've used skirt three, three counts. It helps uh, prime the nozzle and everything to get a good print. Uh, special modes, all at once. And experimental, I've got the coasting disabled. It seems not to like it too well but uh, that pretty much covers the settings I'm using for this easy thread x1 3d printer they seem to work pretty good uh, it's still tweaking on a little bit but this would be a good start for you to start out I hope this helps I hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you all later